Hello and welcome to this video. I hope you're having a great day. As you saw in the intro, we are going to be working with shader graph. We're going to be making a dissolve shader using Unity 2019.3 and we'll be using a universal render pipeline. So just have to keep that in mind. And with that said, we can begin the tutorial. So first things first, I have a scene right here with these assets that I'll link in, down in the description below. So next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to say create and we're going to go to shader and then we're going to go down to PBR shader, click on that. You can name it whatever you want. I'll just leave it as its default here. So it's going to create that for me. Then I'm going to open it up in a shader graph. So I'll double click that and then I'm going to drag this out here so that I can maximize it. And uh, next thing, I'm just going to zoom in a bit here and rearrange some items. So I just now we can start. So I'm going to start by darkening this uh, shader of ours. I'm going to darken to this. You can do whatever you want, but I'll do this. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to press the space bar. Then I'm going to type in noise and uh, the noise we're going for here is a simple noise. So just click on just click, click on the simple noise there. And uh, uh, next what we're going to do is we're going to type in here 25. So that's how much noise we're going to be using today. And now that that's done, we can get the output of this and connect it to our alpha here. So let go of that and uh, here's the effect now okay so you can already see the noise is reflecting on on our on our shader right now so next thing we're going to do is uh go to these settings here and then uh, enable two sided so that you can see the other side of the shader too so now next thing that we're going to do here is we want this uh, shader to animate in and out like you saw in the intro. So we're going to uh, click here, we're going to press the space bar and type in time. So we're going to add time here. And in the sign of time here, we're going to drag this out right here. We're going to drag it out here and we're going to remap. We're going to type in remap. And we're going to get the in channel here. And uh, next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to connect the output of this remap to the alpha clip. So you connect that to the alpha clip. Okay, and now you can see it's animating in and out, and that's great. So with that done, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the output of our noise. We're going to create a step node. So type in step. And we're going to go for the edge so that we can see our glow effect clearly so next what we're going to do here is we're going to get our edge and uh, we're going to get the output of that and we're going to connect it to the emission and i don't think we're going to see much difference here so like i said you won't see much of a difference but next what we're going to do here first let me just tidy up a little okay move this out a bit here there and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to get the rim up here and we're going to say add we're going to get an add node we're going to go for this one right here we're going to connect that we won't need this preview no we will not and then now we're going to add the value here and that value is uh, 0 .0, uh, 0 0.03 0 0.03 and now we can get the output of this here and connect it to this step function the step node here and uh, now we can see the the emission because now we've offset this by a little by some by some few by some few uh, seconds right here so we've offset it and now we can see our emission perfectly right here it's not uh, 
it's not appearing at the same time as everything else so yeah next that we're going to do here is we can just uh, get the output of this here for the step and we're going to create a multiply node so we're going to say multiply and we'll go for this b here create that and uh, under the multiply we can say we can drag this out here and say color we're going to add the color right here and uh we're going to go down here from default we're going to go to hdr and then we're going to select uh whichever color we like you can select whatever you want i'll go for this and uh, just increase the intensity right here and close that up and now i can just tidy up a little here just tidy up okay and i'm going to just get the output of this multiply node and instead connect it to the emission so that our emission can glow our edges can glow and there you go our edges are glowing and now one more thing that we have to do is we would like to change this we would like to make some changes in the editor in the unity editor so we're going to get the color here right click on it and convert it to a property and you can call this whatever you want i'll leave it as it is and close that up then also going to want to adjust the amount of noise that we can add here uh, the amount of this noise so we're going to create a, a vector one and i'll just name this noise and uh I'll default, I'll default the noise to, I'm going to default this to 25, no, that's wrong, okay, 25, and uh, now I can close that up, then I can just drag this out here, and connect this to the scale, and next, we're going to also need to be able to adjust the, the width of uh, this, uh, effect of ours here so we're going to say another vector one and we're just going to call this uh width and uh, this width here i'm going to default this to was uh, 0 0.03 and we're going to close that up right there and we're going to drag this into the shader graph here and i'm going to attach this right there and let that okay now that that's done we're done here so just a little recap you can check all this here Okay, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to test our shader. So we're going to exit the shader graph. And I'm going to have to save this. Okay, so next we're going to say save. We're going to save our changes. And uh, that's done there. So we're going to add this uh, effect to our object so i'm going to start with the barrel i'm going to say that go down to the shader here and then we're going to go to our mid shader the shader we just created i'm going to click on that it's going to add that and there we go next we're going to add this to our other elements so i'm going to go to these materials and i'm going to I'm going to select all so select all and then we need to go down here to our shader, shader graph, then new shader, and there we go. And then next we're going to go to our gun. So we're going to go down to our weapons pack. Um, this is a heavy, some materials, there we go. And we're going to change that right there, shader graph, and our new shader. 
I'm going to adjust its, its color right here. Adjust its color. So we're going to give it a nice reddish color. So somewhere there. And uh, yeah, that seems okay. Yeah, we'll just go with that. So that's our color right there. And uh, yeah, let's just give this a full preview now. And uh, there you go. That's how you make a sh dissolve shader in Shader Graph in Unity 2019.3. Hope this video was helpful to you and i hope you liked it so if you did consider subscribing leave a like and uh, share if you can and with that said thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video and goodbye